cooking with Dave once again. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef that says so right here on my apron. Anyway, today I'm cooking three cheese potato soup. I like potato soup. It's good. Put some cheese in it, some potatoes, some onions. How can you go wrong? All right, bring you over here and show you how to put it. All right, first thing we need to do is to peel ourselves some potatoes. So we'll peel some potatoes real quick like, and then we're going to cube them up and cook them, boil them some water a little while. I will show you all how we do it. Okay, so I peeled me about 10 potatoes. and I'm going to cut these things up in cubes. And I'm going to leave these cubes a little bigger than I think they should be because we're liable to lose some of them while we cook them. They're going to shrink a little bit. So make them just a little bit bigger than bite size. Alright, we're going to boil us some water. I'm going to take some water, put some salt and pepper in it. A little pepper, a little salt. And then we're just going to boil our potatoes until they're tender. Getting ready to boil. We'll throw our potatoes in there. Okay, I'm going to bring those back to a boil and then we're going to let them simmer. About 10 15 minutes just till they're tender. We don't want to overcook them, we just want them to be tender. We don't want them to be done because we're going to cook them more in our soup. We just want to get them tender. Boiling them potatoes. Boil it away. Potato boil. Okay, I've been boiling the potatoes about 10 minutes now. They're starting to get tender. They're not real done. We don't want them done throughout just yet. We just want to get them on the cooking process. So once you think your potatoes are tender enough, you take one out. Get out a big one, give it a little cut, see how it comes right apart. Those things are done. They're ready to go. So now I'm going to take this and strain my potatoes off. The same pot, we're going to come back with that same pot and I'm going to cook me some bacon in it. This is where we're going to put some flavor for those potatoes. Because those potatoes don't have flavor, they taste just like potatoes. So we're going to add a little bacon flavor. I got me, I don't know, it's about 8 ounces of bacon. I just cut it in half and I'm going to put what it takes maybe just to cover the bottom. Alright, I'll use it all. So, 8 ounces of bacon. You cook that up. Okay, I cooked the bacon all the way till it was crispy. I'm going to take it out. We're going to use that when we serve it. Have us some bacon bits up on top of our three cheese potato soup. Y'all know what I'm saying. All right. Uh, what we really want is that grease that's down in there. We're gonna leave that down in there, and we're gonna use that to sweat out our vegetables. This is where our flavor comes from. We got the bacon grease going on. Then we're gonna add ourselves two cups of onions, just regular chopped up onion. Two cups. I turn my heat down to medium when I do this. This is saute my vegetables. I got a cup of celery. We're gonna go in the soup. I got a cup of red onion, red sweet onion. I like red sweet onion, good for soups. You stuff red sweet onion, get some flavor. And some green onion, chopped up green onion, a cup of chopped up green onion. Right in there. That's all of our vegetables. And we're gonna get that bacon grease all over those vegetables. Saute them up with some flavor going on there. Y'all see that? I wish y'all could smell that. That smells wonderful, bacon and onion, can't go wrong. Then we're gonna add ourselves, we're gonna add two tablespoons of garlic, one, two. Give that a little stir. Oh man, that's nice, that's wonderful. So that right there is the basis of our soup. That's where all our flavors getting ready to come from. We're gonna hit a little pepper. And we're going to hit a little salt. And then uh, we're going to put our potatoes in here. And we're going to add ourselves a little chicken broth. Get that a nice good stir. Everybody stir it up. Everybody's starting to sweat it out with that bacon flavor going on there. It's wonderful. Take our potatoes. We'll throw our potatoes right in there. You see them taste a little bit mushy. I might cook them just a little bit too long. Y'all don't cook them that long. Just to be alright. I'm going to add about two cups 
the chicken broth. I'm going to hold one back. i got three cups just in case I need it. That's about right. Just enough broth to get in there. Give it a nice good stir. Mix everybody around. And now, see I didn't cover it. I'm going to come back with some milk. I'm just going to put enough milk to pretty much make everything float. Just to cover up our potatoes. So about two cups of chicken broth and that's about a cup of milk. Need a little more. I just want it to be where everybody's floating a little bit. There we go. More like a soup. Okay, I've been simmering the soup now about 10 more minutes. I'm going to take the lid off, check it out. Looking good, looking like a soup. Looking nice. Hope I left enough room in that pot to put my cheese in. I guess we'll find out. All right. There we go. Everything looking nice, smelling wonderful. I'm going to take myself, see what I got here. I got three cups of cheddar cheese. I'm going to put about two cups of cheddar cheese straight into there. Ba bam. And I'm going to put me uh, about two cups of mozzarella, just some shredded up mozzarella, right in there. And our third cheese will be Parmesan that we'll put on it when we serve it. There we go. We can get our cheese up in there, stir it around, get it melted. And pretty much after the cheese is melted, the soup is pretty much done. We're going to thicken it up a little bit. See how much thickening up that cheese did to it. Not a whole lot. That's pretty soupy. We want our potato soup to be a little bit thicker than that. So what I'm going to do is take about a half cup of milk and a tablespoon of cornstarch, mix it up in that milk, and then pour it in here. And I have reduced my heat because I was just simmering. I'm going to turn my heat back to medium, see if I can't come back to a simmer. When I get back to a simmer, I can tell how my thickness is going to be. I just took a uh, teaspoon of the cornstarch, a half cup of milk, put it in there, and I'm just going to pour it in like that. Then as we cook that, it's going to thicken this up a little bit. You simmer for another five, ten minutes or so, it starts thickening up. You can call it soup. It's ready to go. Don't cook it too much or your, all your potatoes will cook away. They don't really go anywhere. They're still in the, uh, the broth, but then you'll get to buy the potato. But they're still good. I'll tell you right now, it is good. So I'm just going to dip me up a spoonful of it. Get some potatoes in there, a little soup action, a little broth action. It look good. Okay, maybe a little more. Okay, no. All right, so there we go. There's our uh, loaded potato soup. What I did was I took that bacon and crumbled it up. That we use. I put a little bit of bacon up on there up on top of the soup. And I'm going to take some Parmesan cheese, put me a little Parmesan cheese right on top of the, the soup like that. What you think? I didn't put enough bacon? All right. I'll put some more bacon up on top of the cheese. Maybe a little more, a little more bacon. And then we're going to top that off with some chives. And we call that loaded potato soup, three cheese potato soup, however y'all want to call it. It's good. Let me see, make sure it's good. I'm going to take a little taste. I haven't tasted it yet. It's going to take me a little taste. Mmm. Oh, man, that's good. Boy, that is some kind of good. It's hot. Whew. Got a little cool off. I can eat it. Y'all know how it is. I'm going to eat it anyway. Mmm. Oh, man, that is good. That's what you call loaded potato soup right there, son. Mmm. That's smack down. All right. Well, y'all go out and cook yourself some uh, loaded potato soup. It is wonderful. You ain't gonna beat it. Gotta love it. Uh, cheese, potatoes, onions, garlic. How'd you go wrong? A little making action. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.